Good morning, everyone. Today, I'm going to show you how to change the sights on a Ruger Mark IV light. Uh, it's a pretty neat uh, firearm, it's very lightweight. Uh, so, with that being said, we're just going to get started. Okay, first thing we're going to do, we're going to unload it. Make sure it's unloaded, magazine's empty. Go back, chamber's empty. Okay, this firearm is neat in the way it comes apart. Little push button back here, push that in, lock the barrel forward, separate the barrel from the frame, set the frame aside, and we can pull the breech block right out so that doesn't get ruined in any way. And then all we're going to need is some Allen wrenches, a punch, and a hammer. Uh, get rid of these factory sights if you can see they are just black it's hard to acquire the target pretty quick with those so we're going to pull those off and we are going to put these sights on there and see what kind of difference that makes before we decide to go upwards you know with a red dot or whatnot but we will see so that being said, I'm going to grab some tools, set them in place so we have them. Make sure we got a torque wrench. I always got to have a torque wrench. Okay. It's a lot tight. Get started. First thing we're gonna do, we'll change front sight up. That's a simple sight to do. Okay. Make sure we got the right size Allen wrench. Okay. And when we get to the rear one, I'll show everybody something just so they know. In case you don't know. Okay, the front sight's pretty cut and dry. Just a little uh, Allen screw. Front sight comes off. Uh, Loctite is for this screw. I like to put a little bit of Loctite on there, make sure it's blue or green. You don't want to use red Loctite. Red Loctite, you need to use heat to get it back off. Uh, with the blue and green, you just got to put a little bit more force into that screw. As long as you got quality tools, you shouldn't have to worry about stripping anything. So, just a little bit. Blue or green Loctite. That way you know for sure that that sucker is not going to go anywhere. screw in place I'll snug it down and I'll get my torque wrench out this one's pretty pretty simple I mean the sight forms around the barrel you can't really screw up the alignment on this one okay Take my torque wrench, make sure I have the right size bit, which I do. Okay, I will torque it to about 20 inch pounds. Inch pounds, people, about foot pounds. You want to fuck shit up. you know it's torque too. You hear that nice click? That sucker is ready to go. Okay, you can always zero out your torque wrench when you're done using it. Now, on the rear side, I wanted to show you guys something. Before you drive this off, 
Okay. There are two little set screws in this rear sight. One there and one there. They're not just little holes there. There's actually set screws in there. If you don't back them off, you're going to severely screw up your rail in there. Okay. So, and I use a super tiny 0 0.05 Allen wrench or five hundredths of an inch Allen wrench. It is a tiny little screw. Okay. They're not super tight, but they will mar up your, your barrel there if you do not back them off. I just take them all the way out. That way I know for sure I'm not going to have an issue. And the new sights come with new little screws, so I don't have to worry about it. And that said, now I can drive that out of there. I grab my favorite little punch here. Right. I'm going to punch a few taps and get the old one out of there. Nothing really special to it. Uh, I'm just going to set the old screws inside it so just in case for some reason down the road I need these sights again. You never know. Someone might want them. Just slow them on there for her. Well, this is a dovetail. Pretty easy to go in. And then we will install the new rear sight. Okay, but same thing. I'm going to take these set screws out just to have them out. It's real nice about these. You can adjust these sights real simple with the for a little screw right here. Okay. For elevation up and down. It's real he's Ruger does a real nice job with these with their firearms. And the stuff they make for them. So I'm gonna install it the same way I took it out. So I drove it from left to right, so I'm gonna install it right to left. Get it set in place. Get okay, some tabs down. Down the punch. Shit's got to get done. Yeah, do fit a little snug. We'll put them back in place.
slide them down. Just like that. New sights in place. And this is a great little you know, planking gun to shoot at targets with. But with that being said, I'm going to stick the sound rooms back in here so I don't get lost because that's a little fucker. Okay, then reassemble this firearm is just as simple as it coming apart. Bridge goes in here like so. Can't really screw that up. It drops in. Okay. Barrel's got a little hinge on it. Swivels on this section of the frame. Put it on. Okay. Back down. It's a nifty little fire. Okay. Zoom back in, and you are ready to go. Okay. That definitely makes it a lot easier to acquire that target. All right. Thanks for watching. Remember, if you like my stuff, subscribe to my channel. Uh, we'll have a Henry. 4570 trigger job coming up too so i'm looking forward to that one we're going to take the trigger pull from seven roughly seven pounds uh try to lighten it up to about three and a half three pounds which is where you want your hunting rifles to be so look forward to that video what's coming thank you Bye.